Hello my amazing creative friends! Today we are going to create a placement print for our existing pattern collection of succulents. Here is the uh, pattern collection that I uh, created in Adobe Illustrator and I showed the whole process in the part 1 and part 2 of this video series. And today I wanted to show you how to create placement prints using the existing elements. So uh, I decided to use a few uh, succulent pots from my first uh, pattern, repeat pattern, to create um, a family, a fun family of three succulents, a mommy, a daddy and a little uh, baby. So uh, I, dis I took the, my elements from the pattern and I created a new uh, artboard, a new file uh, with a new artboard and now I'm just choosing which uh, elements would look the best. So here I'm trying out different elements here and there to see what I like and uh, then I'm just going back and forth and decided on these three elements. So uh, this, uh, this becomes a little kind of a, a cute little collection. You can actually already you, uh, leave it as that and save it as the a base, a file, a placement print depending on what you're designing but I decided to make it kind of fun and maybe um, more for cute and for children kind of kawaii style so I am decided to make the faces for these guys I deleted the decorations that were on the original pattern on the pots and I used the simple pattern uh, sim sorry simple shapes a tool in Adobe Illustrator to create the face facial features. Uh, for example, a circle circle tool for eyes uh, that as I'm making now, and uh, uh, I'm just duplicating the same uh, eye on this uh, little guy on the baby, and I will going to use a circle tool uh, for the, his mouth too for his little smile. Uh, so it's just simple as that and I am going to use a pen tool to create simple eyebrows. Uh, I really enjoy this kind of simple modern um, almost like a geometric look to uh, my characters but you can draw anything you like. So okay so now we're going to copy the face and uh, create mommy's face and of course mommy has nice eyelashes <laughs> on her eyes so that this way we can know that she's a girl <laughs> and uh, so I am uh, making um, all kinds of adjustments and trying different things and uh, so this is basically a real-time process how I adjust and try things I didn't have any um, sketch for this so I'm just building directly in the illustrator and creating a uh, fun shape. So uh, I am using also a pen tool to make uh, mommy's eyes smile a little bit and trying if I like it or not. All right, I decided to copy the mouth and create uh, lips, uh, lips for uh, mommy succulent using also shapes, uh, basic shapes tool. I am playing around with the shape of uh, her mouth and I merged the shapes with the Pathfinder merge tool and I smoothed out the shapes, uh, the lines of the shape and using the pen tool with a brush stroke, I, with a white brush stroke I created the, uh, I created the smile on her mouth. All right, so now it's time to create daddy's face. We make the features a little bit bigger and just the position of the eyes and the mouth too and uh, make his eyebrows uh, bigger. And uh, uh, I was thinking of adding a mustache uh, for daddy. 
So I created the one side of the mustache with a pen tool. Then I uh, merged the both sides together and colored them uh, with the dark blue color I have here. And created a mustache for daddy this way. So uh, the face is almost finished. I'm just making some little tweaks here and there for our uh, little succulent family. All right. So I decided also to add some arms for these little guys so they kind of hugging each other and I used a blob brush to draw a little hand um, for mommy and I will do, use the same method for the, the base of the arm, for the arm itself I used the brush uh, with the pen tool with the stroke and I will copy the same arm for daddy. Just make it a little bit bigger. And I will just make a little kind of cute little arms for uh, the baby one, baby succulent. So they, they come together. Yay, that, that, and there we have a fun, sweet family of succulents. If you're wondering what I'm doing zooming in and out of the uh, artboard all the time, is that this is the method that I use to, to kind of um, track how everything is going. I zoom in and zoom out uh, from my artboard to see the proportions and if everything looks good. So that's why I, I, you always see this kind of zoom in and out on my videos. That's really helpful method, it helps me a lot. And I will just fix up mouth, the mouth of the mommy since I found it to be kind of a little bit more cute to adjust her lips a little bit. All right. Okay, a few things that I added to some details to the faces is that I wanted to add some teeth to this little guy. I decided not to add two teeth. I wanted, I just kept it one. Oh, basically it's two teeth, but they are uh, together like that. I, I found, I thought it was, it would be cuter. And here how they look with no artboard on. Okay, now it's time to add the uh, placement print to our uh, pattern collection uh, file. So I'm going to copy everything group and bring them over next to the collection on the separate artboard and I'm going to add a frame around them, a simple uh, frame around them to mark the placement print uh, location so that they can come together, adjust the size, and that would be would be fun to see them together on one file, together with my repeat patterns and borders. I uh, decided to uh, showcase my new collection of uh, of succulents. Uh, designs uh, together with my logo and the name of the collection. This way you can present it online or to your uh, customers uh, in a more concise manner. And uh, if you're wondering why I wanted to, dis to include the placement print, is that it's very often when you work with the uh, customers uh, on, uh, on different products, it, um, not only repeat patterns are needed, but also placement prints. For example, uh, you can have a skirt with the repeat pattern and um, you can have a t-shirt with a placement print. So it's always nice to show that you can create placement prints also. So they are basically like little illustrations for your um, that go together uh, nicely with your collection. So in this one I decided to make it like more of a 
kitty and fun collection but it also can be uh, fun for gardening maybe even in the uh, office if you like succulents and it will be nice for gifts also so depending what you are envisioning for your collection it uh, then you can create all kinds of different placement prints not only one you can go with a few placement prints simpler ones and uh, more illustration based ones uh, as I did so this is basically how the collection would look like and I can uh, still develop it more and more and what we are going to do in our uh, next video in the series uh, we are going to create a mock-up products uh, mock-ups of products with our pattern borders and placement print I hope you're enjoying the series. Please let me know in the comments if you uh, liked it and if you have any questions so far. And um, if you're interested to learn more about repeat pattern design, please uh, stop by my Facebook group that I just created for uh, textile designers, or the beginners, and also the pro textile designers who want to come together and hang out with. Uh, people who enjoy uh, textile design and also I am also excited to tell you that I have a newsletter where I give away all kinds of cool goodies for textile designers and I have a special ebook which is totally free for you to learn how to uh, grow your uh, portfolio super fast using my method and Pruma system that I used for myself. So if you are a fellow uh, pattern lover and if you are interested in textile design, please uh, say hello in the comments below, like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like that, just like this one every week. Okay guys, thanks for watching, bye bye!